Hey garden lovers, how is your garden doing? We've been getting a nice steady rain from the tropical storm. Everything is getting a deep water, which has been great. It has been a very great 2023 season. Here's our harvest table from a couple weekends ago. Our chili pepper plants are producing like crazy. They're at their peak. We've had three nice sized green chili harvests so far and we should get two more before the end of the season. So lots of preserving going on for salsas, hot sauces, and spices for the year. What is your favorite veggie to grow? Ours is chili peppers, although tomatoes are a close second for me. They both have so many fun varieties and flavors out there. I wish I could grow them all. These guys are in our top favorite chili varieties of this season and will be featured in this video. Some incredible flavors here. If you have any recommendations of chili pepper varieties we should try, please drop us a comment below. We love chili peppers, so we wanna try as many as possible. This jalapeno variety is black magic and it is a staple in our garden. It is by Johnny Seeds. We grow several plants a year it's got excellent jalapeno flavor. Love this variety. Since we want to try all the varieties we can, we stick chili pepper plants all over the place, wherever there's room to grow them. This planter is next to our pool. It's mostly asparagus growing, but we had a little room, so we stuck some chili pepper plants in it. We make sure to mix in lots of compost into the existing soil, since chili pepper plants are heavy feeders and we harvest often so that the plants will keep producing. In this planter, we are growing the red ember, which is a cayenne, great for drying, and the Hungarian hot, delicious variety roasted with a little salt. And this is the Chinese five color, beautiful variety that changes colors throughout the growing period. Our little Jet is a chili pepper lover also, but he doesn't want him too spicy. You can see here he's gonna sneak off with a hot Hungarian wax. Last year his favorite was an Ajirico, which I was picking for him, but he's predetermined on these hot Hungarian wax this year. And right here he's sneaking off with a jalapeno. We often find jalapenos pulled off the bush with one bite out of them and then he decides it's too spicy. All right. In this video, we are gonna share our top 10 favorite chili pepper varieties of the 2023 season. In our top 10 favorite varieties, we have some with extreme heat, but excellent flavor. We have some with medium to mild heat, and we even have a variety that has no heat, but excellent flavor. All right, so the first on our list is the chocolate habanero and I expect it to remain <clears throat> number one for a very long time. There is something about this flavor. I just can't get enough of it. It is so delicious. It's described as unique, rich, and smoky. And depending on what resource you read online, this one's asking, are chocolate hobs hotter than regular habaneros? And it says, yes, they are. In terms of Scoville scale, chocolate habaneros tend to hit around 425,000 to 577,000 Scoville heat units. And that online resource, which is pepperscale.com, goes on to say that can easily be double the heat of a regular habanero, which is hot, but it's... It's not too hot and it's so delicious. I tend to find myself wanting to spice up everything with the chocolate habanero flavor. Love it, love it, love it. We'll be making all that I can, hot sauces, spices out of chocolate habaneros. Second on our list is green chilies. Perfect flavor, perfect heat, we specifically love hatch green chilies, but since we're not growing in Hatch, New Mexico, we try to get as close as possible, which meant 
harvesting seeds from a local grocery store that brought in hatch green chilies. And now we just harvest the seeds from our own green chilies year after year. We prefer the green chilies with the thick walls so that when you roast and peel them, the skin comes off really easy. We have gotten three harvests so far this season. There's 36 plants in this raised bed. My beautiful mama is helping me harvest. Next on our list is the West Indies Red Habanero. If you want a high producing habanero plant, this is the perfect habanero to grow. Rated at around 450,000 on the Scoville scale. Here is the seed packet information. It says it is a staple in Jamaican jerk spice. When comparing the flavor to the chocolate habanero, the West Indies flavor is more fruity and tangy. If you're looking for a high producing habanero plant with lots of heat, this is a great variety to grow. Next on our list is a Thai chili called Dragon. We finally found our staple Thai chili pepper variety that we're gonna grow year after year. It's perfect delicious Thai chili flavor with lots of heat but look at these long, amazing pods, like five to six inch pods. No more short two inch Thai chili pods for us. Seems like all the other varieties tend to be around a more two inch chili size. We got this variety from a local nursery. Gonna make sure we harvest as many seeds as possible. We've harvested seeds from one of the pods and there's not a lot of seeds in each pod. So next season, we're gonna make sure to top these chili plants so that they could really bush out and produce way more chilies. How hot is the Thai dragon pepper? Kitchen Garden Seed says it's a sizzling 75,000 to 150,000 Scoville heat units. Our next favorite chili pepper of 2023 is Sugar Rush Peach Pepper by Baker Creek. Here is the seed packet information. Exciting new heirloom bred by hot pepper prodigy, Chris Fowler of Wales. Long peach colored fruits, packed with loads of super sweet tropical flavors and the seeds bring a smoky complex heat. These guys have just started to turn a peach color. This was filmed a little over a week ago. Love the flavor of this variety. You've really got to try it. It's crunchy, medium heat, perfect for snacking on right off the plant. We're definitely going to be growing this variety every year. Grabbing one of these Sugar Rush Peach Chilies to snack on and then we'll go into our next favorite, Jigsaw. This beauty of an ornamental chili plant is not to be confused with Jigsaw, the extreme hot chili that I ran across when researching the Scoville units for this beautiful plant. And now that I'm aware of the other chili pepper variety called Jigsaw, gonna have to get some seeds and try those guys out. They're sold at pepperjoe.com. But this is a gorgeous plant. Love the variegated leaves. It has a jalapeno spice level, so around five to 10,000 Scoville units. This guy got a late start, so just starting to produce chilies. Here is the seed packet information. Description says grow in containers along borders. I'm going to move this one next to our patio and possibly indoors over the winter and see how it does. It's such a beautiful plant. I think it'll look lovely inside of our dining area. My next favorite is Bongo Chili. It's a Fijian habanero. Love the flavor of this habanero. It's not as hot as the chocolate or the West Indies. It's got a Scoville of about 100,000 and it's got a tangier flavor. It is very delicious. 
you could see the plants get huge. They're very productive. We were blessed to meet Emma and tour her garden. Definitely want to come back one day during their peak season and film a garden tour. Hi Emma! We love your garden! I would get a side of these delicious red Fijian habaneros with every meal. I'm sure I was known as the crazy chili pepper lady during our stay. The next favorite variety of 2023 is chocolate seven pot. And wow, what a beautiful plant, but I'll tell you, this guy is so, so hot. It's got an excellent flavor. It's kind of got that uh, typical chocolate, which is a smoky flavor. And then your mouth is just burning for a good 10, 15 minutes. These guys are too hot for me to eat fresh, but they are excellent when added to salsas, hot sauces. Going to be making some spice, um, drying it out and adding it to some garlic salt. Here's the seed packet information. A supremely spicy take on a seven pot pepper. It's believed that the darker the color, the hotter the pepper, making chocolate seven pot one of the rarest and hottest peppers. On top of being a beautiful, productive plant, it's this is a second year, so it overwintered in our greenhouse and just came back looking beautiful. This next variety we have grown for either the last two or three years and it's still one of our top favorites. This is habanada. It's a great chili pepper to grow if you don't want any heat, but you want a mild habanero flavor. This is also a second year plant, so overwintered. It's bushing out beautifully. We've got lots of chili peppers and they just haven't ripened yet. They will be ripening to a beautiful orange color here is the seed packet information, and it says here the sweetest habanero, customer favorite, the world's first truly heatless habanero, bred by well-known plant breeder Michael Mosrick. Habanada is the product of natural breeding techniques. These exceptional snacking peppers have all the fruity and floral notes of a habanero without the spice. If you want to avoid a burning mouth, but you want some excellent flavor, definitely want to give this guy a try. This next chili pepper is Aji Mango. This is a very delicious chili. A must grow each year for us from now on. Here is the seed packet information. Mango sweetness with nice searing heat. Perhaps the perfect pepper. I'd say it's about the perfect pepper. It's delicious. 25,000 Scoville units. Ah, uh, we got a little cutie enjoying this plant. Plant's beat up, but I'm sure he's getting lots of little snacks off it. So as I mentioned, the plant's pretty beat up, but next year we're gonna grow a few of these. Love this variety. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned we grow Black Magic. It's a delicious medium to large jalapeno pod by Johnny Select Seeds but it doesn't put out yields like this prolific jalapeno. Not sure the exact variety name. It's been years of us saving homegrown seeds. It may have originally been early jalapeno, but anyway, this plant puts off incredibly high yields of jalapenos, nonstop jalapenos all summer long. You can see here we're getting some new jalapenos, we've got flowers on the plant, and the plant's pretty beat up already from a long summer. And this plant is so incredible, we'll even be getting jalapenos through early winter. They're not as large as the Black Magic, but we sure do get a ton of them. We'll definitely be including this variety in our Southern California Gardening Chili Seed Collection. Gotta get on preserving these yummy chilies. And while I'm mentioning jalapenos, I'm just going to mention this variety. 
We're not going to grow it again next year. I grabbed it because of the name. It's called Tan Jalapeno. Really mild heat, but you could see here it's a very productive plant. So if you enjoy a mild flavored jalapeno, then you're going to want to grab the Tam Jalapeno from Baker Creek. All right, that's it for now. If any of these varieties look interesting to grow, make sure to get them ordered in the next few months because before we know it, it'll be time to start our chili pepper seeds for the 2024 growing season. And for more videos on growing food in a hot deserty climate, hit the subscribe button and bell to be notified. And remember, something doesn't come from nothing. This is an amazing creation. I hope you guys enjoy your week and enjoy your garden. Thank you.